So I wanted to make a really quick video on how to assemble these Harbor Freight Hallmaster 84 inch arched ramps. So I just picked these up today. I think they uh, were selling for about 139. Got a 20% off coupon, so I got them, you know, for a little bit less than that. Uh, you know, obviously you know what you're getting into when you buy this. It's, uh, it is going to be made in China, but what do you expect for the money? What's happening here is I'm going to uh, California here in a little bit, picking up a motorcycle and bringing it back so I didn't have ramps for long enough. I put one together already, so it's going to look like this when it's done. Uh, they're pretty simple, straightforward. They are two pieces that come together. They give you these brackets here and a bunch of bolts to put together. So this one bolt is a pivot point between these two ramps here and hopefully it holds up. So if you look at the side, it claims 1,400 combined pounds, or 700 a piece. They come with uh, this little strap to secure it to your truck so it doesn't kick back on you. Let me take this off here. Right, I'm going to show you what it takes to put the other one together. Here's part of it. and the other part. Just to mention the top of these, this is just a little rubber cover. So be careful not to lose those if you want to protect your bed, if you don't have some kind of bed liner or something else. Nothing on this is welded. Every in individual rung seems to have just a just a bolt and a washer and a nut on there. I'm not sure the quality of this for the long term, but we'll see. You know, price is right. So what you get with your kit is you're going to have your instruction manual, which is relatively crappy. You're going to have your four brackets per ramp. You're going to have a series of bolts, washers, and nuts. And what you're going to have for the the bolt, which is, has a nylon bushing on it, is 17 millimeters, and the bolt is going to be, let's say, 16 millimeter. Almost there. 16 millimeter. All right, let's get started. Okay, this is the bottom half of the ramp. And so the bottom half, we're going to use these female ends here. I'm going to just stick this in here. Line the holes up on the side right here. You'll see that there's these uh, little bends in the metal. And those cap over this open piece of metal there, just like that. So you're going to take your bolt and your washer and push it through. We're going to bolt in the washer, push it through. Then on the back side, we're going to take a nut with the bushing, push this through. Just hand tighten everything. Same thing with this. We're going to take our other half of our ladder, the top half. Lay that top for now. And this is going to go on this side. Mm -hmm. Just like so. So, let's take this other ladder out. This place. This 
this will make it easier. So this little bend goes to the outside there. He's back. Not too sure about how I feel, but this is the the only thing connecting these two and holding it together. I can assume that it's stronger when you close it because of this male-female connection here. But we shall see. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, wobbly and loose, but everything's together. So. Let's get this folded over. As you can see, so once we get it all lined in there, everything slides into place, but still super wobbly, so we're going to tighten it all up now.
All right, now we're done with these two nuts here. I'm gonna tighten those up. What I found is that even if you tighten them pretty tight, you can still pivot this pretty easily. Snug. See this uh, little bend here. Okay, here's our ramps. Done. So we take them out. So everything locks in the place here. All right. So there you go. I'm about 220 pounds. And they're gonna flex a bit. Now let's see what happens when we put a four or 500 pound motorcycle on here. Let's see what happens. And uh, other than that, that's it. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll get to the next video when we put the motorcycle on.